So the adjusted R squared is a modified version of R squared. Uh, in fact, the primary difference between uh, adjusted R squared is that um, R squared here describes the amount of variance in the dependent variable represented by each of the independent variables. If you remember, we have Y. So here we get the, uh, so if we have X1, X2, these are independent variables, right? So R square here will just describe the amount of variance in our Y. This is our dependent variable that is explained by our independent variables, okay? All right? And then with adjusted R squared, um, here it just measures the variance, okay? Variance explained by only the independent variables. So independent variables here will be our X1, X2, X3. So this adjusted R squared just takes into account only the independent variables, okay? Now, sometimes the R squared tends to be very high <clears throat> or rather increases with an increase in the number of independent variables, okay? So this might be uh, rather misleading. Now, to uh, provide a solution to this or to cure this, we use our adjusted R squared, okay? So this adjusted R squared uh, tries to penalize the model for adding uh, more independent variables into the equation, especially those uh, variables or independent variables, uh, predictive variables that do not fit the model, okay? So formally, the mathematical uh, representation of adjusted uh, uh, R squared is given by this formula or equation, okay? Where uh, P here is the number of regressors, okay? Or sometimes we call this as predictors, okay? Um, uh, and then here, N is the sample size or the number of observations in the data or data points, okay? So remember P here is just the number of independent variables in the data or in our model. Okay, and that concludes, um, you know, our discussion on evaluation metrics that we use on uh, regression analysis. Um, lastly, in our next video, we're just going to discuss the key takeaways when looking at evaluation metrics. Um, again, just to remind you, uh, before you uh, start looking at these evaluation metrics, uh, it's important first to um, <clears throat> use a, a, what we call residual plot. Okay, so this residual plot will expose, uh, you know, uh, unbiased or rather a biased model. So if you find that you're using a residual plot, which is just a recommended practice, that um, if your prediction error um, is, is kind of forming a pattern, then we call that uh, a biased model. And that will also creep in or will show in your uh, evaluation metrics. So a, a good, uh, 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 residual plot will um, show that the prediction error should be uh, randomly distributed, okay? Well, that means that's an unbiased model. So when you run this evaluation metrics, uh, we'll probably try to, um, you know, produce some accurate models that are unbiased.